was 18 when I, when I started apprenticing, and then when I was about 20, um, I put my first stuff in a gallery, and it sold in Spring Lake. So I was like, okay, I guess I can do this for like a full-time living. This is great. And um, and I think when I was about 22, 23, I did my I started a business, like opened my business, um, like went to town hall, got all the paperwork and everything, and then um, did my first art show, and uh, it was a blast. And my parents were like, Oh my gosh, you can do this for a living. I'm like, I know, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> so at that point, they I mean, before that, they were like, you want to do what with your life? Like, really? This is this is what you're choosing? <laughs> That's to sync all the audio and I all, love that, it. all that BS. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. No, right? Oh, wait, let me record. All right, we're ready, 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 ready. Here we go. Got some peaks and everything. All right. So, what's up, everyone? Uh... We have someone special, special here today. Thanks. Okay, so we have the queen of glass fusion, <laughs> the queen of mosaic tiling art. Cause I'm a savage. A savage. Her hustle is real, strong. We got Cheryl Simonick here. She is an amazing artist, natural born artist craftsmanship. An entrepreneur. I'm blushing. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's fire, fire, fire all day. So we have her here with us Thank for you. our uh, second issue of Lady Vandell's magazine. And uh, yeah, so let's talk. How did you start? You know, what, you know, let's talk. Let's, when was the first time you actually ever picked up an art brush or a paintbrush or whatever? Oh, well, that was I was really, really young like a little, little kid. Um, we traveled all over the place and so my parents always wanted us to have something for us to do. So we did all these crafts, at, you name it, arts and hung out and literally we didn't have um, video games. We just made things all the time. And I learned how to sew when I was like five because I wanted to make Barbie clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that happened. <laughs> but um, yeah, and it just kind of went from there. It just kept evolving. So cool. just uh, basically everything was just natural to you. Yeah. You picked up anything. And when was the first time you actually got interested in glass or you so know. high school i actually had my first like mosaic class and i have that mosaic which is hysterical because like um, now not with me but i could get it because it's it's well, you need to send it to <laughs> me because i need to b-roll that <laughs> no it's horrific <laughs> <laughs> it was so the teacher actually let us um make our first little mosaics all with hammers so it's nothing like we didn't get to use any um tools or anything it's really primitive and it was whew, very interesting. <laughs> but then, like, I did a couple things. I made, a, uh, like, a peacock mosaic. I did um, a tabletop and, like, a couple other things. And it was awesome. And then, like, I liked it. I didn't know that was going to be, like, the thing of my life. But it was awesome because I was like, this is so much fun. Very cool. So, And I liked oil painting at the time. So I was like, oh, I love this. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. And ah. I just didn't know what I wanted to do. So do you have these oil paintings or is this more I have stuff? some of them. You, you got my, some? My dad and my mom have a lot of them. And yeah. You need to tell Jack. <laughs> well, but Jack, my man, what's up? My, I'm going to you later. We're going to do this with you. I'm just saying. But you need to tell Jack to take some video of your oil painting because I need to, I need all this stuff for real because this video is going to be fire. Okay. It's been, it's been fun. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so did you go to school for art or were you always into that? I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was 18. I was kind of one of those like, oh, well, I want to make sure that I can do whatever. I want to do outdoor activities. I want to be able to be able to go hunting and fishing and snowboarding all the time and then surfing. So basically when I turned 18 and like was going to go to college, I was like, well, I don't want to go away because I don't want to waste money. And so my parents were like, just go to Brookdale Community College. So I said, okay, I'll go to Brookdale Community College. And uh, the first semester, um, I was in Girl Scouts for 13 years. I know. What? <laughs> This is like so embarrassing, but it's it is what good. it is. Hey, we had a really cool Girl Scout troop, I gotta tell you. There it was you epic. Go. My mom was one of the leaders and this awesome lady named Pat Heaney. Um, we were like we were like her kids, which was kind of cool because she didn't have any. She was an awesome, awesome woman. Nice. She is an awesome woman. And uh, she asked me, she goes, well, what are you doing with yourself, Cheryl? And I said, Pat, what do you want for my life? I'm going to Brookdale. Like, what else do you want from me? I'm going to college, I'm doing something. <laughs> And she was like, well, why don't you go try out to be this um, apprentice for this glass guy? 
And I was like, oh, okay, sure, no problem. So I went and he was looking for a guy and lo and behold, he got a girl. So nice. <laughs> um, he was like, yeah, you'll do. And he hired me right there. And I was like, okay, cool. I ended up working for him and then working for his wife doing um, like fuse glass plates, bowls, and mm. sun catchers. That was her business. And then I worked for him doing with his business, which was stained glass, mosaics, fuse glass, and the glass beads. And then um, I waitressed and I went to school full time. And then I graduated two years later and I was like, I don't think I want to go back to school anymore. Mm. Like I have everything that I need. I was like still apprenticing. Yes. And I already decided I want to open my own business. So it was, it was interesting. Very cool. And what is your business? Uh, the, the Sea Glass Studio. The sea Glass Studio. And it's uh, it's fun. <laughs> I <Yeah>. love it. <laughs> I don't know what else I would do with my life. Yeah. <laughs> so it's cool. It's Very evolved cool. a lot. Yeah. Well, let's let's talk. When you when did you first start the business? Like when okay. did you realize that you know I want to open up my own business. I want you know to do what I love. Okay, so I was 18 when I, when I started apprenticing, and then when I was about 20, um, I put my first stuff in a gallery, and it sold in Spring Lake. So I was like, okay, I guess I can do this for like a full-time living. This is great. And, um, and I think when I was about 22, 23, I, did my, I started a business, like opened my business, um, like went to town hall, got all the paperwork and everything, and then um, did my first art show. And uh, it was a blast. And my parents were like, oh my gosh, you could do this for a living. I'm like, I know, this is great. It's <laughs> so, awesome. So at that point, they, I mean, before that, they were like, you want to do what with your life? Right, like, right. really? This is this is what you're choosing? That's all, that's all parents, though. Obviously. All parents. I mean, it's not exactly every day that somebody comes home and says, hey, I want to be a glass artist. Exactly. Right. <laughs> like, that's true. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, like, what, what do you do? <laughs> like, are you into that pot? <laughs> you know, like, yes, maybe a little, so, a little bit. <laughs> just, that's the first question everybody asks me: Is do you blow bongs? And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, no. But can you? <laughs> no, I can't. That's one thing I don't do with that. <laughs> like, damn it! Damn. I missed out on that one. <laughs> oh man. You know? Oh, that's too funny. So, so li li inspiration. Like, uh, where do you get your inspiration? Because, you know, I, your artwork. You guys, we'll, we'll drop in the plugs later with the, uh, you know, with her business and everything. But your artwork is beautiful. Thank you. It's amazing. You. The way, you know, it's, it's, yeah, let's talk, let's talk about inspiration. Where do you get it from? Um, I just, it's basically whatever hits me, hits me. It's kind of like, oh, hey, I want to, I want to make a mermaid. I didn't do a lot of mermaids, you know. <laughs> I'm a mermaid fan, but um, a lot of the undersea stuff, a lot of surfing things because I love surfing. Oh, um, your waves! Your, the waves so are. Fun. I love your waves. That's so so much fun. I get to make two so more awesome. coming up. I can't wait. Oh, sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's basically sometimes I think too hard about it, and you're kind of like, wait a second, what's gonna sell? But then my best friend Jen tells me she's like. Do what you want to make, not what's going to sell. And I'm like, oh, there we go. Words of wisdom from Jen. <laughs> I like that. I like it's, that. It's neat. But I don't know. It's just um, a lot of times people will ask me to make something, and I'm like, yeah, I can make that. No problem. So it's it's neat because then I, don't, I wouldn't think of making some of the stuff. Right. So yeah, I like it. So what was your first, like, commission job? Your, um, you know, your favorite. I should say maybe your favorite. Is there a favorite? Yeah. No, you know, let's just, you know, let's just go with the first one. I'm just saying. Hmm. My first, well, the first thing that sold in a gallery was a seahorse mosaic. It was really cute. It was a pink seahorse. Um, my first commission, though, I don't even remember. I mean, there's a lot. Like, a bunch of my friends were like, oh, can you make, well, one of them was a surfer, like, mm -hmm. a, with the sunset. That was cool. Um, That's, like, back in the day. Um, And then it's funny to see how, like, everything's evolved, too, because, I mean, styles change yeah. you, like you just you change as a person as an artist so mm -hmm. it's really cool and I mean it's evolved a lot because in the beginning it was just basically mosaics and mm -hmm. fused glass and now it's mosaic stained glass more a ton of fused glass a ton of um, glass beads when I first started making glass beads I hated it yeah. <laughs> I, hated <laughs> I remember you with the glass beads uh-huh I remember and, your stuff I remember going to uh, just just beat it and I see your name right there I'm like I know this girl <laughs> yeah. I know she does beads. <laughs> I to tell you the God's honest truth, I always blamed because in the very beginning when I first started like making them, like when I was apprenticing, 
um, I, I swore it on like the moon phase and I couldn't make it. If there was a full moon, couldn't make a beat because it wouldn't come out like circular. It was hysterical. <laughs> and it was just practice. Right. And then, um, and then the whole Pandora trophy thing came out and I was like, oh, I, I have all the stuff. I better jump on that bandwagon because yeah. what, why would I miss out on that? So it came out the same time you were Um, it was a it. little while, probably like three years after I'd learned how to make beats. Nice. So and then I was like, well, now's the time. Let's yeah. do it. So it was cool. Very nice. And like, you know, getting the actual material, because that's a lot of glass. Yeah. That is a lot of freaking <laughs> glass. <laughs> yeah, it takes up a lot of space. Yeah, where do you, like, like, do you, like, just go out and just find the glass and collect them and chop it up, like, you know? How, sometimes. How to... Not all the time. Because sometimes people are, like, a lot of people, if they have it, they don't know what to do with it, like, how to get rid of it. And, oh. of course, I'm the person, like, I'll take it. Yeah. And, like, I've had people call me, like, Cheryl, I'm at an estate sale. I, I found glass. Do you want it? And I was like, how much is it? And they're like, they'll, they'll bring it home to me in, like, crates. It's, they're the best. It's fantastic. Um, but I go to this place called Rainbow Art Glass in Wall Township, and it's a warehouse mm -hmm. for glass. And it's one of the, like, one of the best ones in, like, the whole tri-state area. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I love those guys. They're great. Nice. <laughs> but... <laughs> And then, like, obviously, you find your stuff online sometimes because not everything is in one spot. Right. So, and then shipping. Woo! <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> did you ever, like, do you, with all that glass, do you ever get cut? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, yeah, literally, like, to the point where it's, there's not a day that Jack will be like, what's wrong with you? Why do you have so many Band-Aids on? I'm like, don't worry. I'm okay. Duh. <laughs> Duh, Jack. He's like, he's, like, he's like, haven't you been working this like half your life? I'm like, yeah, pretty much. He's like, well, don't you know not to get like cut? And I'm like, it's sharp. What do you want from my life? Like, literally. Sometimes you don't even know you get cut. Like the other day I was moving it and I had like a cute dress on and I was like, oh great. Came inside. Literally it's all over the dress. Like, oh. No. oh. Oh my yeah, but God. Because you know, you're callous. Like it's just, you, yeah. know, you don't know what happened. Oh my gosh. It's okay though. <laughs> I got it out. Gosh. You get really good at doing laundry. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Clorox. Yeah. No, shout it. Shout it shout out for, uh, for OxyClean, yes. man. That's the way to go. <laughs> oh, but, that's too funny. Yeah. And oh my gosh, the holes. Sometimes you'll get so many holes in your clothes. You're like, really? Because like, you'll have a little piece sticking out. You're like, yeah, they wore good pants. Not anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that's crazy. So like, what, like, what do you prefer more? Are you like, right now, are you focused on... Like glass mosaics, glass fusion, and stuff like that. Is that your, is that your main thing right now? I think right now I have a lot of custom commissions for like people's homes. Like it's really cool. I just a couple of like stained glass pieces, which were really cool. Um, I have another one of those coming up that's gonna be awesome. I have a, a couple like mosaics for people's houses, and then right now I really need to be super focused on Christmas ornaments. Because there's a lot of little pieces that go in a lot of pieces of yeah. art. Well, that that's perfect. Talking about the Christmas thing, I still have footage from that oh. from the Asbury Park, which I'm gonna put in the video because we're talking about it now. Here it is. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know what's going in there. <laughs> Yo, this place yeah, is man. dope, man. Yeah. This is nice. Wait, yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> awesome. Well, you to talk about the pieces. Okay, it yes. started off basically just mosaics, and uh -huh. then it evolved, and, and jewelry. And it evolved to fused glass ornaments, and plates, and bowls, and it's been crazy. So, can't nice. Complain. Cannot complain. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, babe. It, it, it got Mr. Smiley over there too. What's happening? This is my elf. <laughs> <laughs> he really he ties all the knots on all the ornaments <laughs> and makes a lot of my displays. Yeah. Purple tunnel. And what else is he? <laughs> oh, and he helps me set up and break down. He's the muscle behind it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and he's tall, so I need him for everything because I'm short. <laughs> You're lucky. I need set stools. And he's really good. cute. He is. So, I'm telling you, next year he's gonna match. We're gonna have matching shirts, and it's gonna be awesome. Blazer. <laughs> Great blazer. Maybe the pants too. Yeah, so pants. Everything. Everything. <laughs> uh. I love it. That's awesome. What's happening? <laughs>
Got it. <laughs> Yahtzee. <laughs> so yeah, so now we're, gonna, we're focusing more on the, the ornaments and stuff like that. Because it's actually a perfect time. It's October. Everyone has got to shop. Who doesn't want to shop? Well, I probably should have started Christmas ornaments um, in like, I don't know, April. Yeah. Oopsies. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but it's okay. Because yeah. I sell out of a bunch of stores. Right. And then I'm going to do the shows too. I need them for me because like last year I sold out, the, like literally sold out of the Azure Park Bazaar, which is awesome. So, wow. I'm like, okay. And then after that I sold out, I was like done with ornaments. But I mean, I obviously like people are like, oh, can you make this? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like <laughs> you have to. That's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's interesting. Nice. Nice. Hey, man. Hey, my man. Oh, what's up, babe? Guys, <laughs> like, we're, like, we're gonna cut for a second. My man Jackie's here. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. That was amazing. <laughs> hey, babe. I'm like, who's this? your family? Let's talk about your family. Your family's been there for you since the very beginning. Oh yeah, they even made the first booth with like this crazy pegboard that weighed like a thousand pounds and we had to like truck it in with oh it was, it was hysterical let's put it that way but dad you're the man and mom you're the woman thank you for supporting me and jack my husband number one because uh yeah he installs and does a bunch of stuff for me and he ties little knots on the ornaments that are really tedious and fantastic with them big hands i know <laughs> <laughs> It's great. I'm like, I need your help. He's like, okay. And I like him all the tags and the stuff. I'm like, see ya. Oh man. So Jack, Jack, he helps you a lot. He does. With uh, you know the builds and all that stuff. I remember yes. the builds that he did when he went to Asbury Park. Yeah. You did that. Um, was it the platform or where you hang? I forget. So it, he'll put up all the stuff that I can't reach, basically, because yeah. he's tall. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's great. Um, he does like the any kind of like um, the nightlight holders, the well, Christmas tree things. No, they're uh, what are they called? Like, tell me here, the the wall hanger things yeah. that we have. I don't know what they're technically called. I don't build those. Uh, what? I don't build them. I just put them together. <laughs> well, I mean, you have, you still have to install them. It's like carry and carry out, man. <laughs> How it goes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he helps with all that kind of stuff and, and moving. Obviously, glass is super heavy, and then you add it onto three quarter inch plywood, and it's really heavy. So yeah, it's, it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good workout. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a big guy. No, I'm, I'm scared. I'll be scared of him too. See like someone just by himself picking up that shit. Come on now. He's like, I got it. He's like, let me see that flex. Yeah. <laughs> Flexing hard for my girl. <laughs> He's like, see this knife sweat. Did yeah. you <laughs> oh man. So it's good. It's awesome. And then like I mean, obviously, I've known people for since I started this, and it's really awesome. They're like still buying stuff, and they're like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Um, Tons of support, which is so cool. Like Very that's nice. number one. Yeah. So it's been neat. It's been really Very cool. cool. So do you do you have like a lot of online sales with your stuff, or is it more you know I'll call you and I'll, you know we'll make it and all that? It's um it's both basically because mm -hmm. it's uh I never know what I'm gonna get. That's the only thing that's kind of crazy. Like obviously when I sell out of stores, yeah. I know I can make X amount of things and put them in the store. Um, and they'll sell or whatever like I mean I even paint on wine glasses which is like I've been doing that I saw that picture today nine years ago what the heck what happened to nine years Eek. thanks memories on Facebook b-roll <laughs> b-roll up yeah it's crazy <laughs> like holy cow so yeah it's um it's a lot of little things and and cremation beads are huge because I mean a lot of people especially with COVID they found oh my gosh there's like our little smoky dog in a box yeah. like what are we gonna do with them and I'm like I gotcha nice. so, <laughs> yeah it's crazy I'll be up here. <laughs> <laughs> just need a teaspoon that's it <laughs> so I mean it's been really crazy nice. and it's been good it's very good interesting so now speaking of COVID. So that was back what we're at six months, maybe some seven months already. Yeah. So how did you as a creative cope with the whole quarantine and stuff? Did it benefit you more or did it not? Um I kind think of, sort of. So basically like after when quarantine first hit, I was like, okay, so after Hurricane Sandy, everything was like obviously shut down and like we kinda of were in a whole other state of like close like everything's closed off, can't do anything, it's kinda of shut down because of natural disaster so then this happened and you're just kind of like okay so i'm gonna take it kind of like how i did with sandy it's like okay so how am i gonna evolve from this after this because nothing's gonna stop like life still goes on we still have to keep going like i get it it sucks like it's horrific but as an artist you're kind of like well what's gonna what's gonna help 
with everything. So what I decided to do was I made um, like these rainbow stained glass hearts and I sold them and I donated um, like 25% to, or no, it was $25 out of a $70 thing for uh, the food bank of Ocean in nice. Monmouth County. So that was really cool. Um, started doing that and then I made the coloring book. I made face masks too. Um, so I donated a bunch of face masks because I sew for uh, University of what St. Pete you know, University of St. Pete and a bunch of other people. So that was kind of cool. Well, you do, you basically do everything. Ugh, God. Ugh. I can't say. That's, that's like master. I can't really play with That's like master <laughs> craftsman. You know, I'm just saying that's insane. It's fun. I like it. Wow. <laughs> it's a, well. If you can learn it, you can do it. That's true. That's true. Uh -huh. So you would you definitely kept yourself busy during yes. during a quarantine. You know, you never stop. Your hustle no. was just always there. Just it, the only thing is I had to switch a little bit because I didn't want to use a lot of electricity mm. because I didn't know how like where the bills were going to be or where like the money was going to come from. Yeah. And because all the stores were closed, but then the really cool thing was that it actually did switch over a lot to online sales, which was a huge thing for me because I'm terrible at like technology. It's just not my thing. Like because I, I do all the website myself. Like a one man band is pretty hard to keep keep afloat when you're kind of busy with a whole bunch of other yeah. stuff. So um, it was really cool to see the switch and the turnover for that onto technology size. Like it was just different. Like, yeah, that's, cool. that's, that's good that you just kept going. You know, you didn't stop, you know, yeah. Netflix didn't get you, you know Can't what stop, I'm saying? Stop. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Cause a lot of people, you know, they, they, they hit that, that wall, you yeah. know, well, that's there's no creative. walls to be hit with me. It's just, I'm full force all the time. Break, breaking glass. <laughs> breaking <laughs> glass. <laughs> that's fantastic. I love it. Literally. Yeah, that's awesome. Literally. We need to make you a shirt. We got to design a shirt for you. <gasps> That'd be epic. We need to, I could do that. I'm, I'll that. design one for you. I got you. <laughs> breaking glass. Breaking glass. Okay. Because yeah. I'm a savage. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get all the, the glass, we'll do a little little slow-mo video of glass throwing in the air. And then all of a sudden, shell comes out. <laughs> That's hysterical. Yeah. We're like a waterfall of glass. Yeah. <laughs> Just Love it. Slow-mo. We all like come out like all cut up. You're like, no! <laughs> That's what it feels like, Cheryl. You didn't tell me this. It's horrific. <laughs> and then the little ones are the worst. They just oh, you. Oh, gosh. that one. Oh, yeah. When that happens, Jack's like, Cheryl. He's like, Are you okay? I was like, Yes. <laughs> how many band aids you put on her already? Well, how? I should say, how? What's your band aid storage stash? <laughs> A lot. They go by. They go pay really. Fast. Birthday, Christmas, anniversary. I get band aids. <laughs> 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 lots of band-aids. We should have bought stock in band-aids. We should have bought stock in <laughs> And rubbing alcohol. Oh, rubbing alcohol well, band-aids. Nice. So we're good. <laughs> yeah, that's, so you brought stuff. I did. What you brought some stuff. Your, show us your stuff. So what do you got? Stuff. Um, this one. This is just some mosaics real fast. This is like a pretty big seller. Um, it's a mermaid because mermaids are my jam. Very cool. And they've got fused glass bubbles in them. Um, and then, oh my gosh, the best thing about this is getting new tools whenever you, like, you go to the store. So somebody asked me to make a circular window and I was like, oh my gosh, I need this really cool new tool. And I, came <laughs> home and I was like, this is the best day ever. Makes it easier. It does. The right tools, that's it. There's no way you're going to bend that, that stupid lead around the outside without this one tool. And I was like, this is great. <laughs> nice. Literally. And then we have, wait, let's see. This one, what did I bring? Oh, this one's cool. So this is one of the new ones. It is like the aerial beach shot. Cool. So that one's fun. Um, oh, yeah, what's this? So I'm like, this so actually rubs off. I swear, it's marker. So th this is th is this glass? Like, is that glass? <laughs> this is all glass. Yeah. So I'm just saying, where do you find like the same colors and like? There that's we go. just insane. So I buy it in a huge sheet. So basically, it's like a sheet that's uh, like that wide by like this high and then you cut it down so i have a lot of sheets of glass just kind of like in small pieces mm. and i keep all of my like every single one 
of my like scrap pieces because then I can do classes with them. So I do a lot of classes, like mosaic classes, fuse glass classes. So nothing goes to waste, which and reduce reuse or recycle man. That's awesome. <laughs> and really cool thing is a lot of the wood that I get is um, scrap wood from my good old hubby here, who, um, <laughs> I mean, he does carpentry. And so I get all the scrap pieces. Nice. <laughs> There's a lost bead in here. Good luck guys. <laughs> but. Yeah, and then this is a fuse glass. It's like oh, a that's got awesome. your tray, your serving tray. So that's like, like so glass glass. It's this, not ceramic or anything. No, like this that. is all glass. So what it is, it's two layers of glass, and I, I first I um I fire it so it's fifteen hundred degrees, and after the fifteen hundred degrees, um I slump it again into a mold at thirteen hundred degrees. Yeah. That's fantastic. So then you can make like plates and spoon rests and little dishes and, that's and stuff like that. paint in between? No, that's all. That's the color of glass. Like I buy the glass that color. Okay, cool. Shut the front door. I swear. <laughs> Pretty. I, you guys, yeah, look at that. Did that turn off? What turned off? Something turned off. Oh, that one. Hey, Jack, can you hit record on that one? Yep. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, got it. Got it. Did that got one turn it. off? That's still on? So that's fun though. Cause, and then that one, I mean like, you, that possibilities are endless with that. Nice. Which is cool. And plus, um, that's like one of the best designs that, that, uh, that sells basically yeah, the awesome. wave. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that one. You can't. That is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Man. And then we've got, of course, your nightlight, shark nightlight, who's yes. super cute, Jaws. And one of the ornaments, can't go wrong with the lighthouse because of course we live. The this old area. Barney, yes. And it has actual beach sand that we Very actually cool. clean out from underneath our truck when we go fishing. <laughs> nice. Uh huh. So it's in the driveway, and I kind of put it into a, a pan, like yeah, and I let it dry. It's ridiculous. That is so <laughs> awesome. And this is all. This you're, so it's all glass. All glass. That is. Yep. So this is just basically. Insane. But it's all like little tiny pieces. So I have to cut every single piece by hand, and then like fire it to like fourteen hundred degrees, and then you get your stuff, and then you can like fire little pieces wow yeah that's like i'm just saying you guys i'm gonna do a little b-roll on <laughs> on on these things it's just amazing you guys see it close up the frida is a big one this year this is probably like one of the My, biggest oh, sellers this. she's cool so this is all this that's stained is, glass stained. so I, there, yeah I that's a your, new thing that's some crazy your stained glass work is freaking fire thank you everything fire <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> So is that metal too, or? Yeah, well, that's a copper foil, and then you put like um, a solder over it. So yeah, it's like a metal. Wow, that is awesome. And Good then work. I hand paint it, which is fun, and fire that in a kiln too. Wow. So it's like all te like it's not coming off, which is awesome. Like that is on there for for good. Oh my gosh, that's crazy! <laughs> and you're, you just shape everything too. Yep. And the glass. So I make a pattern. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so I make pattern, cut it all out. Put it back together it's basically making your own puzzle piece with everything wow so i mean and it, when it doesn't fit you make a fit <laughs> which yeah. is even better yes yeah, you, so. you know there's never a mistake because you always you can always fix it that literally you know and that's that's pretty awesome and then these are beads because obviously the beads are always big the wave one this is like yeah. one of the first ones that i made was the wave one, oh, just yeah. because they're, they're oh really that's cool. awesome so and that's been fun. And then, of course, you've got your Halloween because we're almost at it. Yes. Sugar school. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> So, awesome. Yeah. So yeah. That. So yeah. Let's. We'll talk about your. You know. You. You. You also teach. Yes. You have classes and everything like that. Like what are Weird. the? What are you like? I, that. That's. That's awesome. Are you kidding? It's fun. Me? I love it. Yeah. I so, love teaching. Like what is the age group? Do you just go? You know. So basically, it's responsible. Like ten years old and up. Because there's some kids that are like totally in artwork and they love it. And I know that they're like, they're, they'd be really good. They listen, they wear safety glasses and they're awesome. Um, so basically my classes though that I do like at the Art Foundation is basically 18 and up. Um, but it depends on like who it is. Because obviously I know a lot of the kids, if I know their parents. I mean, I can't believe I have parents, like friends that have, that are parents that actually have kids that are this old. Like, no, you guys are never this old. Like you're my age and we're young. Like it's not <laughs> happening. So, like, and it's just crazy though. Like time's going fast. But um, yeah. So they like I'll do Bayhead. Uh, Bayhead. I teach a bunch of classes up there. Um, and every year we do a different ornament, which is really cute for Christmas. So they have, I have my professional crafters, I call them. Nice. And they're awesome. And uh, little elves. And I know they're good. <laughs> well, they do their own thing. It's really cool. Yeah. And I'm like, I just, I, I say, hey, we're going to make this this year. They're like, okay. 
<laughs> and sometimes I'll be like, oh, we want to make this. Okay, I'll make that. Um, and then for the LBIR Foundation, I'll do classes there in the summer. I'll do um, Fuse class and Mosaic. But basically, most of it is in Bayhead. And sometimes I'll do stuff for like Girl Scout troops. I'll go help them like get certain badges. It yeah. still happens. It's, it still happens. It's always been there. It's okay. never going to leave. It's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's only the cool troops do that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. That's awesome. But yeah. So, very cool. So, so let's, let's drop into plugs. You know, where can we find you on the internet, on social media? Where, where, where are you? Where can we buy your stuff? Where can we see your amazing All right. artwork? All right. Well, we can go to the C Glass Studio, the letter C Glass Studio dot com for my website. You can buy stuff off of there. Um, go to Instagram and check out my. It's called C Glass Studio, with the letter C. And then, of course, you got your Facebook. There's only one Cheryl Semnick in the world. Really hard last name to spell, but guess what? It's there. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't pronounce it. I had to double check, so I had to ask her. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. It's cool. And there's only one, I promise. And then, um, I mean, there's some little things on YouTube, but not much. Um, I think that's about it, though. So Very cool. That's, and fa I just say Facebook. Facebook, yes. Yeah, and then, Instagram. And then Pinterest. Pinterest. A little bit on Pinterest. Okay. I'm not that good at Pinterest, but it's on there. It's at, and you'll see the camper redo too. We put up those pictures. That was that's cool. yeah, I, that's that's crazy. I have to see that shit. It's cool. I still have to paint the outside of it. Hopefully, within the next two weeks, I can do the outside. But yeah. Oh, we're something. gonna have to film that. That's we got cool. we got to do something. That. <laughs> we just put we a new to. roof on it. Jack redid the for, oh, well, the front half because he did the back half the other day, like last year. Yeah, it's been it's a work in progress, and it's literally 1986. So every time we travel somewhere, <laughs> something leaks, and then we're just like, well, we have to fix that, by the way. <laughs> hey, it's she's an old girl. Let her be. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Nice, but you, you know, Cheryl, thanks for coming. Well, thank yeah. you for having me. This hey, is awesome. This is very awesome. <laughs> the queen of glass fusion, fire entrepreneur. <laughs> Fire teacher, <laughs> crap. She's just everything amazing, and uh, yeah, you got to check her out. Sea glass, Jack, my man, you're next. <laughs> Jack is a world famous photographer yeah. throughout the Eastern Seaboard. You'll see him. You'll he's he's the ish, the man. I'm telling you, Jack's next. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so we're gonna take little. We're gonna take like little photo, little photo shoot for the, okay. for editorial spread and stuff like that. Cool. Easy stuff. Just show your stuff and. We'll I have a surfboard in the car too. We're taking it's the surf. mirror one. Just a heads up, and the mirror one definitely is like super glitzy. Just a heads up. Glitzy. glitzy. So we're gonna take a picture of that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's go. Awesome. Let's do it. Sweet. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>